בראשית ברא אלוהים את השמיים ואת הארץ בראשית ברא אלוהים את השמיים ואת הארץ. Today's letter is Rush, and it's a picture of a man's head. If you think about how the word head is used in language today, you'll have a pretty good idea of how father uses the letter resh in Hebrew. In English, for example, we use the terms head coach and head of the department to speak of leaders. We call the top of a document its header or its heading. And if you want to know where a river begins, you look for its headwaters. The letter Resh is used in Hebrew words to mean all of those same things, leader, top, and beginning. It's also used to simply mean man, and of course, head. The Hebrew word that corresponds to the letter Resh is the word Rosh. So Resh is the letter and Rosh is the word. Both mean head. We see the word Rosh in the very first line of Genesis, which is what I was singing at the beginning of this episode. We're going to read today from the book of Genesis in Hebrew and see if we can apply what we've learned so far in this series to understanding Father's words. If you're just joining us and you don't know any Hebrew yet, stick around. Genesis is a great place to start. <laughs> The first verse of Genesis reads, In the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. In the original Hebrew, that verse would look like this. We're going to read this together, and we'll go through each of the words, and we'll do a word study of one of the words in here with the letter Rush. So starting at the top right, Bereshit bara Elohim et ha-shamayim. Ve'et ha'aretz. This first letter, Beit, is a picture of a house. And the same way that you live in your house, the letter Beit is added to the beginning of Hebrew words to mean in. Reshit is the Hebrew word for beginning. So Be-Reshit means in the beginning. Bara Elohim. This phrase means Elohim created. One thing that you'll notice if you're just starting out reading Hebrew is that the word order may be different than you're used to. In English, we would say, John went to the store. But in Hebrew, you would say, he went, John, to the store. And we see the same thing here in the first verse of Genesis. In English, it says, in the beginning, Elohim created. But in the Hebrew, it actually says, in the beginning, created Elohim. And the very next words are going to tell us what it is that Elohim created. The next words are et ha, which means the, shamayim, heavens, ve, which means and, et ha, the, aretz, earth. This word aretz is father's word for earth and land. One meaning that the letters Aleph and Resh both share is that they can both be used to mean strong. The last letter here, Sade, is a picture of a man lying down. So put it all together, and this word Aretz is a picture of something incredibly strong that Father laid down for us. The earth, if you think about it, is strong enough for us to build on it, for us to dig through it. We can drive on it and it can withstand the weight of all of the people on the Aretz. So Aleph, strong. Resh, strong. Sade, laid down. The Aretz is something very strong that Father laid down for us, Be Rashid, in the beginning. And also Be Rashid, in the beginning, all mankind knew this language. They knew Father's language. And one day soon, the Ruach Elohim, the Spirit of God, is going to make it so that we all know his language again.
בראשית ברא אלוהים את השמיים ואת הארץ. בראשית ברא אלוהים את השמיים ואת הארץ. Okay, so for a lot of us, uh, being from the lost tribes, our uh, past are a little foggy. And we don't really know what happened. But this timeline that we have on uh, fathersalphabet.com sure gives it a, a brand new look. Now, uh, being this rash, I started looking uh, for all the way from Adam. And it took 1,788 years before someone is born with a name that starts with a resh. And that's our uh, forefather, Ru. Ru. That would be a resh, ayin. Yes. So being a good instructor, what, what, would, uh, what do those two letters mean? His name is based off of the word for friend in Hebrew. Ru. Ru. That's, uh, that's pretty nice. Oh, by the way, he was born in the year 2400. BC exactly. We think. <laughs> We think. Yeah. Okay, well, this timeline's pretty on. You know, it's one thing interesting about the timeline, if you go all the way to the end, to our present day, is you'll see that it's time for a pop quiz. Pop quiz, here we go, another one. Yes. Okay, uh, okay, the Bemanim have been wanting a uh, pop quiz for yes. a while now. So. This is by request of the viewers. And by, yeah, by... Mass request. So the word in Hebrew that corresponds to today's letter Rosh is the word Rosh. Rosh. And at the beginning of the episode, we showed um, everyone what are the main meanings of, of the word Rosh. But um, I'll, I'll go ahead and put that on screen for everybody. But you don't need a recap because you are a paleo Hebrew expert. Oh, here we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... All right, to, folks, she's going to try to stop me. Yes. I'm going to read you a verse from the Bible that has the root word Rosh in it. Okay. And you tell me what the Rosh in that sentence means. Okay, let's do this. Okay. So the first one is, And I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed. It shall bruise thy Rosh, and thou shalt bruise his heel. Head. Yes. Bing! One for me. I'll do that, yeah. Next one is, And they said, Go to, let us build us a city and a tower, whose rosh may reach unto heaven. Whose top may reach it. unto heaven. You got it. Folk, he, folks, it helps to know the, the Bible, too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And a river went out of Eden to water the garden, and from thence it was parted, and became into four rashim. The four heads yes, of the river. Yes. All right, I'm doing pretty good so, so far. So far, so good. And the waters decreased continually until the tenth month. In the tenth month, on the first day of the month, were the rashe of the mountain seen. Rashe, the tops. Yes, you got it. Tops. This one's from Deuteronomy. So I took the chief of your tribes, wise men and known, and made them rashim over you, captains over thousands. Leaders. Yes, you got it. All right, I'm doing pretty good. Now this one's a twofer. A twofer, here yes. we go. Okay, there's, this is fun. Two, there's two with the Rosh root word. This is from Exodus. This month shall be unto you the Rosh of months. It shall be the Rishon month of the year to you. The first okay, month good. of the year. Yes. What about uh, the Rosh? It, it should be the main month, the head month. Beginning. The beginning. Got me, so bing, one wrong. <laughs> no, no, I'll give you half a point for half that Half a one. point for that. Half a point, yeah. Next one is, And he dreamed, and behold, a ladder set up on the earth, and the Rosh of it reached to heaven. And the top reached to heaven. See, see, folks, top, 
lead, leader, the head, the the very tops, the best, the best. Yes. The 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 beginning. Now this one is really cool. It's the last one. Let's see. Um, this is when the prophet Micah is talking about when Father regathers the tribes of Israel, and he says, uh, Father speaking, he says, "I will surely assemble, O Jacob, all of thee. I will surely gather the remnant of Israel. I will put them together as the sheep of Bozrah, and their king shall pass before them, and Yohe Vohe at their rosh, at their lead, at their head, yeah. at their head. Wow, that's that's a great scripture. Yeah." All right, that, that was pretty good. Pretty good. I would pretty say good. I'd give you about a 99.5% on that one. Yeah, she got... Now, uh, folks, guess what? I also have a pop whoa, quiz whoa, 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 for whoa. Dawson. That's a surprise, right? Brilliant. So, So it took 1,788 years for Ru okay. to be born. Okay. First one was a resh. It means mountaineer. It means fellow. It means friend. Yep. Means fellow companion. It also means herder. It also means yeah, mountain that's man. Yeah, the same word for for shepherd and yeah, shepherd. But a uh, shepherd of sheep, shepherd in the mound. It means a lot of things, and a good friend. Now I noticed in our in our Ayn episode. Let me just flip it, and it's oop the same letters resh, Ayn. But in this case, it's evil. Now, yes. can you explain how this happens? That is a great point. So in Hebrew, sometimes you will see a word that is spelled exactly the same as another word, but it has a completely different meaning. Mm -hmm. And so you need to take a look at the verse. Before. What comes before, what comes after, to know what is the word that you're dealing with. So yes, the letters resh, ayin, in some cases, is the word evil. Evil. So just to clear, I, I don't want to really pop quiz here, but... It, I'm let's, ready. I'm let, ready. Okay, let's... Let's see the word. Okay. okay. So, uh, the man was Ra unto this other man because he stole his oxen. Evil. The man was Ru unto this man because he helped him out and fed him when he needed it. He was a friend. He was, the man helped the Ru with his sheep. The shepherd. The the man found a real rue that helped him through life in this man. A friend. Hey, pretty good. Yeah. Four for four. Yay. Nice pop quizzes. All right. Well, I hope the Bemanim uh, enjoyed it. And we love pop quizzes here. Yeshua told us to consider the birds of the air. So we're going to spend a little bit of time doing that today. In our case, we'll be considering the blue jays that seem to enjoy nesting under this here umbrella. Yeshua said that these guys don't sow seed, neither do they reap or gather into barns. Yet our Father makes it so that they have plenty of food wherever they go. Consider also the lilies of the field, he says. They don't toil or have to make their own clothes. Everything the flowers and the birds have is because Father provides it for them. They're blessed. To bless in Hebrew is barak. Beit, resh, kaf. By the letters, it's a picture of what Father puts in man's hand. Barak is the word for to bless. Baraka is a blessing. And beer coat is many blessings. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. These are just a few examples of the many beer coat that Father has given us. We will inherit his earth. He's giving us the kingdom. He fills us with his righteousness. He gives us mercy and comfort and adopts us as his own children. We are really blessed. It's easy enough to see how Father puts things into our hands to bless us, since he created everything and has everything to give. But what if we want to bless him? 
This word Barak also shows that it's in man's hand to bless the Lord. King David asked Father to accept his prayers as incense and the lifting up of his coughs as the evening sacrifice. That's taking the coughs that Father has barocked and lifting them back up to him to give him thanks and to ask him to do whatever he wants with whatever he has put into our hands. Okay, so today's letter is Resh, right? Which is the picture of the man's head, right? So, sixty seconds. Any word or phrase you can think of that has the word head in it. Yeah, ruah. No head, like a the word head in English. Oh, headache. Uh, heading. Uh, headstrong. Uh, ahead. Uh, yeah, I said um, uh, you know, I, I've been preparing for this segment for about a month and I, I couldn't think of as many words as you've already said. <laughs> what okay. else you got? What else you got? Uh, Are you scratching your head? Yes, I'm scratching my head. I can't think of anything. Should we, uh, should we head back home? Sure. Let's go straight ahead. <laughs> and with that, we are headed to the song portion of this episode. Next time around, we'll talk about the Hebrew letter Sheen. See you guys. The Lord is patient and his love is kind. How I long to see the my God and King How I love to see the house Of my God and King patient and his love is kind How I long to see the house of my God and King The Lord is patient and his love is For sure that the Lord will come We know for sure that He will say We know for sure He's our deliverer In these days What now has changed? He's still the Lord And He's still God His children Until He gets them home He's still a Father He's still my Lord The Lord
God is patient and kind. I long to see his feet on the same land as me.